One of the most frequently asked questions in C4ETX comment section is, how big of an upgrade the Snapdragon 636 is when compared to Snapdragon 650? Is it an upgrade at all in the first place? Well, Xiaomi said the Redmi Note 5 Pro was the spiritual successor to the Redmi Note 3. So let's find out how it actually fares. Now it took us a bit of time to source a Redmi Note 3, so apologies for the delay. Hey guys, Sundar here from C4E Tech and before we begin, here's a card to our latest giveaway. There's also a link in the description below. Do check it out. And while you're down there, hit that bell icon to get on our notification squad. Let's first perform a test for light usage, wherein we open a few commonly used apps and a couple of games. Note that we are using the 4GB RAM variant of the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the 3GB RAM variant of the Redmi Note 3, since that's the maximum RAM available on the Redmi Note 3. Anyway, both phones are connected to the same wireless network and there are no apps running in the background. Let's now start that stopwatch. Opening up Super Mario Run. The Note 5 Pro loads it faster and takes the initial lead. The Note 5 Pro is noticeably faster at opening apps as well. The Note 5 Pro finishes the performance round in just 57 seconds. The Note 3 is quite far behind. The Note 3 finishes the performance round in a minute and 11 seconds. The Note 5 Pro on the other hand finishes the entire test in another 3 seconds. Neither phone reloaded any app from the memory. The Note 3 finishes the test in a minute and 29 seconds. Let's now move on to a heavier test, one that involves opening more apps and even rendering a video. For that, let's open up Adobe Premiere Clip. Import the exact same video onto both phones, slow it down to 25% and keep it ready to render, so that we just need to hit render during the test. Let's now start the stopwatch. This is where both CPUs get to unleash their true potential. The 636 is clearly doing a better job. The Note 5 Pro is done rendering the video. The Note 3 is 20 to 30 percent slower at it. The Note 5 Pro is currently loading Temple Run 2. The Note 3 is just a few seconds behind. But will opening the three games bring in a few more seconds between them? Let's wait and find out. Shit. 
The Note 5 Pro finishes the performance round in 2 minutes and 8 seconds. The Note 3 is stuck at Asphalt Extreme. The Note 5 Pro is performing well in the RAM management round as well. It has every single app and game in memory and finishes the test in 2 minutes and 41 seconds. The Note 3 on the other hand has just finished the first round. RAM management on the Note 3 isn't bad. It reloads three apps, Feedly, Play Music, and now Premiere Clip. And finally finishes the test in 3 minutes and 36 seconds. Let's reboot the phones before wrapping up. It's not that we expected the Note 3 to win the test, because the Snapdragon 636 is a much newer and faster chip, but we wanted to see how much of a difference there was today. What kind of improvements has Xiaomi brought over two generations? That said, I'm pleasantly surprised by the fact that a 2-year-old budget Redmi Note 3 is still perfectly capable of handling most tasks. So that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to C4E Tech for more videos like this. Hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a video goes live on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching, this is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.